Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm back at home because I can't go anywhere at the moment other than just five kilometers from home. We're still in lockdown and as much as I'd love to get back to the sea, I can't get anywhere near it at the moment. Decided to, you know, have a look back in regards to something I've been thinking about for a long period of time and that is pressure. And is pressure good for you or is pressure bad for you? Now, pressure in photography and outdoor photography scene, I suppose, is something that you know, I think everybody needs to have. For me, if I didn't have to release a video every week, which I've done actually since September 17, then maybe I wouldn't be getting out as often, and maybe I wouldn't be using my camera as often, especially when it comes to times like this. So I really want to discuss the idea is pressure. Is it good for you or is it bad for you? Now, if I live to 150 years old, and I went out every single week to take photographs of all the places that I wanted to see in Ireland and not only in Ireland but everywhere else in the world, I wouldn't have enough days. That's the beauty I suppose of outdoor photography because there's so much to photograph and if you don't really push yourself to make yourself committed to get out and go see these places on a regular basis, you won't actually get to see as many as you'd like to and it might actually pass you by. many friends of mine during this whole lockdown that haven't used their camera as often as they wished and from my point of view I haven't either but it has forced me to become more creative and to think of different ways that I can create content for my YouTube channel. What that does in turn is it gets me to places even though right now it's only five kilometers but in the past since September, 20, uh, September 17 I have seen a lot of places that I wouldn't ordinarily have seen if I wasn't pushing myself to get out there and get the photos. Now outdoor photography, it's not just good for taking photos, it's also good for your soul. It gets you out, gets you breathing in fresh air, gets you exercise and it actually is good for your mental health and good for your physical health as well. Now a lot of people that go walking and hill walking, they don't have a camera with them, yet they still get the same endorphin, endorphin releases by being out there on a regular basis. And from an outdoor photography point of view, yes, granted I'm there to take the photograph, but it's the journey to reach that location, which is very important as well. You may find that you have to go through some areas that you wouldn't actually normally walk through, like boggy areas or muddy areas, or go climbing up cliffs or climbing up you know, mountains, to get those photographs. Ordinarily, if you didn't have a goal in place, would you really put yourself in those situations? Would you put yourself in bad weather and getting wet every single time you're going out, you know, with hail or snow or wind? Probably not, but by using the camera and forcing yourself to say, you know what, I want to get out there, I want to get some shots, it actually does force you and puts you in, in positions that I don't think most people would even consider putting themselves in, never mind saying every week. In life, it's very easy to become lazy, very easy to become lethargic, very easy to kind of be disconnected and say, you know what, I want to have a nice easy day. As much as I like that too, there's many times that I actually think to myself and say, you know what, yes, you're tired, but by getting out there and getting the exercise, you actually feel more invigorated, you'll feel more connected with nature, and the bonus is that you've got your camera with you, so it enables you to get some photographs as well, so that you can then have a image of that journey or that place or those light conditions or the rain conditions or whatever it may have been but you managed to get a photograph to keep that as a physical memory as opposed to just in here which most people would do when they walk anyway and photography for me really challenges me to think differently in different conditions I'm a firm believer and I've said before there's no such thing as bad conditions in landscape photography and it's still true to this day and there's been many times that I've gone out fully covered in my wet gear so I'm going to be perfectly dry but I'm there I'm chasing I'm chasing I'm chasing and it's the times that it actually happens that makes it all worthwhile but even if it didn't happen I didn't get that amazing shot it was still worthwhile to again to give the pressure on myself to push me to get out and create those images and create that content My channel isn't always about the best of the best. 
I show warts and all. It's not always that I get a great shot. You know, it's that one in 20 moment that makes it all worthwhile. But all of the other 19 out of the 20 were still enjoyable and they were still in areas that I would have learned and learned more about the camera, learned more about myself and pushed myself as well to be able to go through the different conditions, like I say, to get that shot. And it's that one in 20 when it does happen. And the fact that I've actually now got my video camera to record and have a record of that, it's great for me to be able to relive those moments because nine times out of 10, if you see a great sunrise or a great sunset, you've got a photograph. But where for me, I've got the video. I've got the story that I've told and I can almost re relive it, getting the feeling, getting the smells, getting the temperatures and everything that I would have felt on that day, more so than just an image as well. So for me, in that point of view, it really makes it worthwhile to get out get the camera, start recording, and start to tell a story. And it's something that I think I've gotten better with, I hope I've gotten better with over the years in being able to bring somebody along on a journey with me. Something I really enjoy is putting the whole video together because you know, editing a photograph, fine, you can get that done. But putting a video together, you've got a lot more creative freedom. It's my video. I can create whatever I want about it. I can give it a fast paced music. I can give it a slow paced music. I can bring in ambient sounds from the day or I can even bring in other sound bites as well that I would have recorded that I think would create more of an immersive atmospheric uh, video. And that's the part, the part that I really, really enjoy. It's something that, like I say, I think I've gotten better with, but I'm actually thinking I'm getting better every time I go out and every time I go edit. It's a pressure that makes me improve. Everybody has different forms of motivation. You won't do something unless you're motivated to do it. And there's two types of motivation. You're either motivated towards something good or away from something bad. Now, if we look at the uh, video sphere, my motivation is not because I don't want to miss a week, but it is because I don't want to miss a week. My motivation is because I want to get the shots, or maybe it's not because I still want to get out and I still want to get the photographs. But the motivation behind it is something that's really, really important. And if we understand what motivates us, then I think it's a big step in getting better and getting on that journey and ensuring that you are the one that gives yourself the kick up the backside to get out. More often than not, you could be sitting, get an opportunity to go take photos and you'll say, you know what, mm, the weather isn't as nice as it should be. Maybe I won't go. For me, it's different. If I get an opportunity, I'm gone. I mean, even if I'm going to a place that's an epic view or somewhere that it's not, it's a challenge and it's a challenge that I accept every single time because I might find great shots. I may not find great shots, but it's about getting out there, getting my, my hand on the camera and using it that I find it helps me to improve and it also has that mental release as well that helps me to get on with life in the other days of the week that I'm naturally not out taking photos. Can video get in the way of a good image? It's something I've thought about and something I've mentioned in a couple of episodes of my vlog. You know, am I a photographer or am I a filmmaker? A lot of people would say, you know what, you've got so much that you need to do to record the video that it can distract you from getting a photograph. And that is absolutely correct. Something that I've learned over the years is that I'll always have the shot before I start talking to the camera. And it's a thing that I've learned because I would have gone off and you know, spoke about a shot and then not been able to get the shot. But once I know that I have the shot, then all effectively I'm doing is recording to the camera either what I've experienced or I'm kind of telling a bit of a lie about what I'm going to experience, even though I've already gotten that shot. But there is merit to the fact that, you know, you've got so much that you do need to do. I do go out with my camera and I don't video everything. And I actually find it that sometimes I would wish that I didn't have to film everything because I had somebody to film it for me because it does actually, you know, take up a bit of extra time. But it's like everything, the more you do something, the better you become, the more, the more you repeat something, the more it becomes part of what you do from a breathe in and breathe out point of view. So I can go and take photographs, set up my camera to take my photographs, but I've already recorded my video of every step of the way. I've kind of got that routine. So yes, it does take some time, but it doesn't really interfere with my photography. I don't think. But there could be people out there that would say and look at my images and think, you know what? Yeah, who does he think he is? He's not as great as he thinks. I never say that I'm great at taking images. I do it because I enjoy it. I never once turn around and say I'm better than anybody else. 
I'm learning and I'm still going to learn not only from the photography but also from the video but it's the very nature of pushing myself every single week to get this content for this channel that I do think it made me get better at telling the story like I say knowing the key items to record and obviously taking photos as well. Do hope you've enjoyed my you know, little piece to camera explaining something that I think is very, very important to do. Put yourself under pressure. Get yourself out there because if you don't, you won't ever improve. You can't improve just by reading on something. You have to go and actually do that. And from my point of view, I do think that it's something that I would be a very much so an advocate of. And I do hope that you've enjoyed coming along on these different journeys with me. So I'm going to finish up this episode. Hopefully I'll see you back out in the field soon. Leave me a like, give me a comment. If it's your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And from me, back in base, until the next time, Schlange Fall.